Hi everybody, Pam from the Paper Outpost here. Welcome to the 3 and 30 minute alphabet challenge by Shabby Dabby Duda. Today's letter is letter F for file folder. And um, uh, I'm going to use these as a, these are actually uh, separator cards for an index Rolodex type thing. But the top looks just like a, um, the tab on a file folder. So what I'm going to do is I am going to trace the um, shape of this. I'm gonna make three things. Oh wait, oh, I don't have my timer. Okay, officially it's but almost 20, 20 to four. Okay, here we go. Go. Okay, so I'm going to make, I'm gonna use this as a template and then I'm actually gonna use this in Manila one in an, one of the three, but just not yet. Okay. And we'll use this here. Here comes my husband. He doesn't know I'm videotaping, but that's okay. He'll figure it out soon. Okay, so I'm going to cut out two of these and trying to keep everything on the table here. So I'm using this cutter. Doing a video, babe. And uh, husband has been officially notified. Video is in progress. All right, cutting these little guys out. I definitely need to, these are helpful for me because I definitely need to make more ephemera. Okay. Okie dokie. I'll just get the little scissors. Get the bigger scissors. And we'll cut our little file folder cards out. All right. Rounding the edges. Edges. Okay. And it's okay that a little bit of pencil shows because we're going to ink it up later. Ink it up like crazy. All right. And two. Okay, there we go. All right. This has pretty map design on the back, so I think I'm just going to ink those up right now. And uh, there's really no mistakes when it comes to inking because if you make a mistake, you just sort of keep inking and hope for the best. Today I'm using walnut stain, the distress inks. Sometimes I use vintage photo, walnut stain, antique linen, tea dye. So I've even used shoe polish before. That works well. Interesting aroma too. All right, I think I'm gonna ink the insides too, just for fun. Okay, super fast ink here, time constraint ink. Okie dokie, and hello, hello dog, that I bribed so well with snacks and treats not to bark. Maybe hubby will jump in to save the day with the pooch. Probably not. He sounds like he's rummaging in the fridge for something to eat. I don't think anything's going to disturb him from that. Okay, so there we go. All right, inked and ready to rock and roll. So what I was going to do with these, I wanted to put them so the different flips were on either side. But then I had this little gizmo, and I never do enough with brads, I always tell myself. You need to do more with brads. You have a billion brads, and they're really cute, and you ought to use them. So I got this little gizmo. He's got like a tiny little pinhole thing. I got him at a, uh, a craft show yard sale. Um, I'm gonna put a little pop in the corner. You can use an awl or a pin. It doesn't really matter. This is just kind of the perfect size for a Brad's. I'm gonna stick these babies through there. This is a pretty little rose. And there you go. Okay, so this is one and we can put some, um, let's put some pretty little dots on you since you have kind of a 
an antiquish color. I have this greeny gold liquid pearls, which I love to use, but once you use these, you got to put it aside and let it dry because it will, it will smear. The liquid pearls dries faster than the stickles I found. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And we'll just put some uh, little decorations down the side. Okay. So there we go. So this is going to be able to go like this and give you extra journaling space on all sides. So we'll put you aside. You are number one. All right, time check. Oh, we're pretty good into it. It's only like two or three, maybe five minutes total. Okay, so number two, we are going to take our template from that one and we can move the scissor cutter and cover that. And we get its little mate. It has a little mate and let's go quickly and ink you about, give you some color. Inking changes everything. And you can ink with different colors too. It doesn't always have to be brown. Sometimes it's really pretty to do pink or blue or green. And you want a sturdy cardstock, something like that. There's my dog digging in my, my bag of rags. I have uh, bags of these little pieces of fabric that I use for different things. And he is exploring it right now. He's mostly blind and pretty much deaf and he's 16 and a half and he's just my little joy. Yeah. And we do what we can and we treat the treatable as the uh, vet says. <laughs> That's what we do. All right, there we go. Both sides, yep, done, done. All right. So what I would like to do with this is make a little um, journaling notebook out of it with a fabric hinge. And uh, so I'm just going to get the old, the old trusty Fabrifix, super strong Fabrifix. And uh, oh, here we go. Uh. I don't know if these are officially file folders, but they look like file folders to me once I make them. So how about that? I'm sure there's no hard, fast rules or, or uh, shabby Debbie Duda won't be too upset. <laughs> I'm sure she won't be. Uh, okay, I'm going to get my other one that is much more user friendly, which is here. You know how when they get down to the bottom, you gotta fight a bit. Okay, there we go. Got one side, and I um, like to give it the old shreddies for extra vintage flair. All right, you'll push down, and then followed by the infamous flipperoo, the alignment, the glue down. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. The alignment has been kiboshed. We realign. We flip over, we make sure our shreddies are present. There's that we again, the me, myself and I, me, myself and Irene, right? <laughs> okay, so we have that and then we trim. And you can leave them a little longer for some shreddies at the top bottom too, which is a nice effect. Okay. And I like to ink these up a little bit so they don't look so darn new. Like it was found in the bottom of an old ship or something like that. I made this really cool journal for my husband. Uh, it was based on a lost treasure. It was an act of God to make that thing. <laughs> uh, those theme journals, oh boy, they, they really are. Uh, you can really get into it and get lost in the process and you're gone. You're gone for like, you're gone for months. <laughs> okay. So this one is perfectly functional as is, but I think what I would like to do is just reinforce it a little bit with some washi tape just to give it extra stability and strength. Okay. We'll go for the three butterflies. 
This is not really 100% necessary, but I, and I also think it adds to the decor. So there, I'm calling it necessary. It's necessary in my book. All right, just cut the little tail off. Washi by itself is not strong, but if you need to glue it, an extra power, that's a good idea. Or if you double side it, like one washi on one side, one side on the other, that seems to give it a lot more stability. Uh, just using the old fingernail bone folder here. My bones. <laughs> and uh, whoop. there you go. Now, um, I think it would be nice to have a word on there. And let's put word. We have the word box. Let me see my word box. Here's my word box. How about uh, notes? Notes is good. Thoughts? Thoughts are good. Let's do notes. It's a file folder. It sounds like it wants notes. Okay. Uh, let's put notes there. Let's ink you up a little bit. Torn, that's okay. There we go. And you might like some glue stick. Super Yoohoo glue stick. Or Oohoo, as I've heard it called. Oh, whatever floats your boat, that's fine. Okay, and I think we're going to do a little stamping on the front just to say we did. And uh, uh, number stamps are always great for these, you know, uh, stationary type things. So let's go with. Uh, my ink. Let's give you five, one, nine. Yeah, that looks very official. All right. How are we doing time-wise? Time check? Okay. We are good. I think we have about ten minutes left. So... And you need a bird there just because I said so. So on the inside here, I think I would like to put two little coffee dyed note papers. And um, I think, oh, that's a pretty side. All right, where's my, my glue pad page? Here we go. All right. Most important, get all the corners so it doesn't curl up on you. I got some mystery paper in there, some coffee dyed or newspaper or something like that. It's okay. Here we go. There we go. A nice little paper there. And we got one more. And we're calling this one done. Yep, that's what we're doing. Oh, check for cuteness. Equa cute, I think, on this one. Okay. I don't know if that's a word. It's a word today in the Urban Dictionary of Pam at the Paper Outpost. Okay, there we go. Aligning, aligning as close as we can to the level of the other one. Straightening, whoops, wrinkles are okay because they look kind of cool, this old papery stuff. And we have that and we definitely need some words or a little quote or something. Oh, this is good. It comes so soon, the moment when there is nothing left to wait for. Oh, yes. A nice little quote by Marcel Proust, 1871. I'm gonna glue you up and slap you down, Marcel. Let me put you here, you show up better. There we go. We'll call that baby done. You could put something else on the back and maybe we'll do some little Let's have some fun here. Okay. Let's see. Kind of look like Morse code. Yeah. Remember SOS? Anybody know what that is? I forget. Three dots, three spaces or something. Three dots. And then our last idea is a similar uh, type of uh, file folder type index card thingy. And uh, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take this uh, vintage book page and I am going to, let me close, zoom in on this so you can see this better, okay? And uh, I'm gonna cut this page in half. Tried and true method. 
of folding and tearing. Oops. I should probably cut it, but I guess we're going, we're going with this. Okay. Okay. So what I want to do here is make a little opening file folder. So that means we have to make a gusset. And basically what we want to do is fold this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Two, three, four. So you either want to make it wings up or wings down, which I don't have there. So we're just going to cut off one of these. That won't work. Okay, so basically you want an M or W because that's going to go inside here. All right, so let's use that as a prototype. We'll go for the sizing. Okay, M. And these are nothing new. These have been out there, but we'll just have to make three things. Didn't say three new things. <laughs> so just having fun with it. Just playing today. It's good after you're done a journal, you know, you just want to kind of let the head breathe and relax and play a little bit just with the paper. And that's what today's all about. Just playing with the paper. Oh, there's the carrot parrot. Oh, the dog jumps. My nearly deaf dog has jumped. <laughs> I think you're going to go... Let's see what's the best way for you to go. This or the other way? He thinks this way. All right, so let's try the tried and true super glue of Fabri-Tac. I'm gonna ink these first. I just think it's gonna be easier. You might wanna use kind of a, a stronger paper for that because um, it's gonna have some pull on it. So you wanna make sure it, it can withstand the pull. You could do a cardstock, but I would do a little softer than cardstock, a little firmer than regular copy paper. Somewhere in the middle there. A lot of um, junk mail will have the right consistency for that. These cards that come in, they're great. Don't throw those out. Those are great uh, bases to use for things. They're beautiful um, thickness of paper. And uh, you're technically using contemporary ephemera, so that's kind of cool too. Um, nothing wrong with that. All right, so we want the words to go up just because. And yeah, we're just going to put some glue, glue balls down here. I'm going to hold it by the middle of the M. And put some glue balls down there. Okay. All right. I probably put too much. Oh, well. All right, we're going to put you there. And then we're going to get the other one. Hold it by the middle of the M. Get you all glued up. Thin, thin glue is probably better than thick glue because then it doesn't ooze out and stick everything together, which can sometimes be a little mini disaster at times, but everything can be fixed. And remember, as uh, the frugal crafter always says, it's only paper, people. It's only paper. And she's so right. It's only paper. Relax. All right, we'll in from the side, not too much. All right, we're gonna try this. Slap her down, slap her down, silly. Okay, hope we got the right spot. Alignment, alignment is important. Getting our alignment in place. There we go. Gluing these edges, gluing these edges. Oh, those pretty clean hands are gone. Okay, now we kind of go in and double check that the only things that are sticking are the things that we want to be sticking. And I can see I need to fix the bottom somehow. So I think what I'm going to do, I could use a fabric again. What could I do? Oh, I know. I could use this. That's kind of cool. Well, I have a different one here. What's my time? What's my time? I can do it. I can do it. Okay. Where'd you go? All right, can't find it? We use this one. That's what we do in the time crunch. Oh, found it. Ha uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, these are also butterflies. Wash tape. Go for a length check. We don't want to be too long. That's good. All right, after that 
butterfly. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna put you here. So we have butterflies peeking on this side. And then we use the old fold method with the table. Gives you a nice clean edge. And there we go. And we're double checking to make sure we haven't glued everything together that shouldn't be glued together. And we have a nice little file folder there. And we can do some, do we have time to decorate? We have two minutes to decorate. What would you like to decorate? Um, you want to put some sparkles on it? Okay, you know we won't be able to touch this forever. I know, I know. But it's so pretty, I can't stand it. And we could put some uh, sparkles on the butterflies. Are you in the view? Yep, you're in the view. Okay, butterfly sparkles are always good. And then let's do this. There we go. And since we're still here, we have a little time. Let's just do a little extra pizzazz. Okay, that's nice. That gives you a little journaling space there in the middle and you can tuck your favorite little tuckies in oh, there. It didn't take long to smear. All right, inside. Okay, don't stick. Okay, and maybe it's a good idea to dry this open. Yes. And I'm just going to, so I'm going to show you the three things we did. We did the little accordion folder. We did this little guy. And we did the Brad swirl. <laughs> so there you go. Three fun things um, for three in 30 minute alphabet challenge. Shabby dabby doo dah. Link below. And uh, looking forward to G coming up. Yoo-hoo. All right. This was fun. Thanks a lot. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.